people are very inquisitive. They always want to know what's going on. That's why they always getting killed. No, the reason why I say that, remember when that brother shot all those white people on that train in New York? Did you see the trial when the white guy, a survivor, was on the stand, witness stand going, I heard something that sound like gunshots and I stood up <laughs> to see what was going on. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, I'm nosy as hell my damn self. I'd have probably asked what was going on, but I'd have asked it from down here. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Get out of the way. I sound like us. I'm bad. Just get your ass out of the way. So I shoot you myself. Oh, no. Favorite show had to be the Brady Bunch, man. Love that show. Favorite episode on that one? When Bobby and Cindy got lost in the Grand Canyon. But there's one thing that puzzles me, and that is how come white folks are so damn calm in a crisis? I mean, think about it. Here you got your two youngest kids lost in the Grand Canyon and Mike and Carol walking around looking for him like this. Bobby, Cindy, Bobby, Cindy. And I'm thinking that could not be black folks because we'd be running through that canyon talking about some Rashida, Hakeem. Oh, shit. Y'all know this is the one year anniversary of Princess Di's death. Now you know, America, we felt bad that Princess Di died, but she really wasn't our queen. Lil' Rich is our queen. <laughs> you let something happen to Lil' Richard, that'd be a funeral, okay? <laughs> Queens and fairies all marching in the procession, okay? Cause they tried to get fancy on Princess Di's funeral, didn't they? Had Elton John remake us a song? Hell, if Lil' Richard died, we gonna have Puff Daddy make us a song. We ain't gonna be out there. They had Goodbye on Rose. We gonna have Goodbye Tutti Fruity on Rudy, cause we gonna be out there. I know why I ain't lost no way. Cause I, I had to quit smoking pot. Yes, indeed, you know. See, the munchies will mess you up. I hit a Jenny Craig, I had a Jenny Craig meal, a glass of Slim Fast while I waited for my waffles to get done. And I tear up a box of Cheerios. <laughs> Get me a big old pot and a salad spoon. I'll stab you if you come near my Cheerios. And don't none of y'all try to act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know that the quality of the weed determines the quality of the munchie. <laughs> now, if you just have some old regular, old regular, old, you know, you get your old turkey wing, slap some cheese on it, you be all right. <laughs> but you get you some good stick ass stank ass chronic. <laughs> It'll be shrimp scampy like a mouth. And you'll take a $50 cab to go get it. Hey, I just have to honestly say, I'm sorry, but the stuff is, it's addictive. I'm sorry, I just got a cop to it. It burns your memory cells, even though some things I don't want to remember. <laughs> I get a bad date or a bad relationships, I burn. <laughs> Alvin who? <laughs> Sometimes it'd be kind of embarrassing, you know, because this lady came to my house and I didn't let her in. I couldn't remember who she was. <laughs> then I kept looking for a while and it came to me. I went, ooh, mama. 